Okay guys, hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to a brand new video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. As you know, we're currently a few days into Team of the Season so far and uh, there are a bunch of things that are coming that are very exciting and I can't wait to share them with you and hopefully get you guys a little bit more prepared. Starting out with this, the code shown we're getting guaranteed Community Team of the Season and EFL Team of the Season packs. Uh, they will be coming tomorrow. We've already had the 282 plus player and the 82 to 88 upgrades um, and we've had the Twitch Prime packs. So we'll be getting tomorrow at 6 p.m. Or today, when you guys are seeing this at 6 p.m. Tuesday, we'll be getting the guaranteed community and probably the guaranteed EFL team of the season packs. Um, although I think last year they did Tuesday, they did guaranteed main league, and then Wednesday they did the lower league. So we could see EFL on Wednesday if they follow the exact same suit. But I'm guessing both will be released tomorrow. In terms of rating, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm trying to figure out what kind of rating I think EA will drop here. Um, and it's kind of difficult to, to, to grasp. Now, last year, it was quite low rated. It was uh, it was only 84 rated, as you guys can see. Um, but last year, I think we had a, a lot worse of a selection of players. A lot of people seem to think that this community team of the season isn't great. But looking across from it, say they make the rating 80, 84 rated, for example, like they did last year with the team of the season player. Um, there's only about eight players or seven players in this entire selection that go for less than, it'd probably be about 90, 100,000 coins. Um, there's only like a select few players that go for less than that. Most of these players are pretty expensive. You know, we've got 100k in Godin, uh, 200k in PK, 135, 235, 130, 720, 203, 745 in Zaha, uh, being one of the, one of the highest rated ones, uh, besides Thiago and, uh, PK and Busquets. Um, we have 300k over here in Mukiel. We've got 290k in Simon. Um, there's actually quite a lot of expensive cards, so I can't see EA making it too cheap because it's actually pretty. Uh, it's actually a pretty good selection of players. And you know what EA are like when it's a good selection of players, they'll make it really expensive. The foot birthday party bags were pretty high rated, if you ask me. Now I think it's actually probably a little bit too early to start buying fodder. If you guys are sorry, a little bit too late to start buying fodder. If you guys are looking to buy fodder, um, I would recommend going and following Footwatch on Twitter. This is where I find all my information for your Footwatch. They're a fantastic Twitter account. Um, and you'll get tweets like these a day or two in advance of when the actual pack will come out when they when they get put into the code um, You'll see these kind of tweets from footwatch and uh, and and from people like that So once you see these tweets, I recommend investing in fodder trying to get yourself the fodder in um, But looking back at last year and looking back at the uh, the selection we had last year and stuff like that Yeah, I, I can't see them following suit with rating I think they were pretty generous last year in terms of rating and things like that like this year It doesn't seem as generous although chemistry was a bit of an issue last year. So that, you know, could be the same this year. They could go down the chemistry route. And uh, if they do, I guess it'd be a little bit harder. But yeah, I can see them. Uh, I can see them making it a bit easy. I meant to say not making it easy, but I said making it a bit easy. Um, in terms of the packs last year, though, pack weight was pretty awful. I mean, looking at last year's team, though, we had a bunch of not great players, I think. Um, it was almost similar in terms of, you know, we had a couple of million coin players, but Carrasco was 65k, Felipe was 57k, uh, Oscar was 60k, then we had a lot of players on the bench that are pretty cheap, that Sizoko was only 95.5k, given that he actually accidentally got released into packs when he should not have been, and he was released as SBC at the same time, made him really cheap, we had Halle who was 78k, uh, Jao Moutinho who was 89.5k, uh, if I want to scroll down even further, um, we had Bergwin 66.5k uh, as well, so we had I guess a similar amount of players that were on the cheaper side, but I think that this year there is more players that are expensive. Like last year we had a few 200, 300k players, but this year we have two 700k players, a 1.2 million coin player, and a bunch of four 300k players, uh, three or 400k players, should I say. So yeah, I think we'll probably be 85 rated, 86 rated for the community team of the season. Uh, and then in terms of Premier League team of the season, I can see it being 86 or 87 rated, maybe even higher. And I think they will contain or, or require, sorry, a team of the season player. I will just wait around at 4, 6 p.m. tomorrow and next Tuesday to figure out that information. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it and we'll see what we get. And uh, obviously, I'll release a video of me opening a bunch of them because I find it a lot of fun to open SBC packs. Now, if you are unaware why we're getting people like uh, a player moments Laporte in objectives and we've got a player moments Goretzka SBC. These aren't because EA are trying to release them to get, you know, coins and stuff all they kind of are at the same time. Um, these are being recognized players for, for doing really good uh, things. For example, Goretzka has raised more than 3.9 million euros um, for, for what's going on in the world right now uh, and, and raise it for those in need, which is obviously very 
amicable um, and, and, and you know, it, it, it's very honourable for him to do that as well. So that's why uh, you're seeing players like Laporte and 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 Goretzka, and we'll see many more, get player moments as well. EA actually released a little uh, a little article on their website uh, talking about it. So squad releases will uh, released each Friday throughout Team of the Season. There'll be a unique squad showcasing some of the best performers of the season so far. Additional players from these sides will be available during corresponding weeks as objective and squad building challenges. So... You already knew that. You already know that. You, we already know what's going on. What I wanted to talk about more was weekly rewards and SBCs. Now, each week will feature a range of additional squad building challenges available for a limited time. Many familiar, familiar as well with the, uh, some of the new favorites will be released, including the popular Premier League upgrade SBCs available for 24 hours towards the conclusion of each team of the season so far, beginning following the community team of the season so far. So, that's not good. We're going to be getting... Uh, Upgrade packs, for example, the Premier League League SBCs, we're going to be getting the upgrade packs for only 24 hours this year, which is not great. I'm hoping EA is still going to release 81 plus packs, 82 plus packs, 80 plus player picks um, throughout the week as well, because if we have nothing to grind, I think that's really, really scummy. Um, but they're only out for 24 hours at the end of the week as well. So probably Wednesday to Thursday, we'll get 24 hour uh, SBCs, the upgrades, which in my opinion, it's pretty poor. But the main thing I want to talk about here is weekend league rewards because a lot of people have been asking me about weekend league rewards. So here it is. Um, Silver 2 and 3 will get a team of the season player pick and it will be capped at 88 overall. Gold 2 plus will get a minimum of one team of the season item from that week's Friday release and it will be any in any player picks packs. Oh, I'm sorry. So, for example, in, in Gold 2, you get two picks of four players. One player from each pick will be a guaranteed... This week, Community Tots. Next week, Premier League Tots. And the week after, City Hour or Bundesliga or whichever one the main league is. Elite 3 uh, will be... Uh, Elite 3 Team of the Week packs will be replaced with Team of the Season packs. Um, obviously, like the team, team of the Week packs, but Team of the Season packs and the same with Ultimate packs from... Uh, from top 100 so anywhere over gold two guarantees at least one player from each of the main leagues in their player picks uh, and an elite will get team of the season packs top 100 get ultimate team of the season packs um gold three and gold two oh sorry got a silver one and gold three will get their normal player picks there'll just be no cap so there's no guarantee of getting a, a top five league but there's no non-guarantee if that makes sense so if you get gold three it doesn't mean you're not getting a top five league it just means there's no guarantee so you could get all all of your plays and your picks could be absolute stinkers from the lower league for example you could get some of the worst efl team of the seasons or you could get yourself three community team it doesn't you know there's just no guarantee for it um i hope that's been explained to the best well, i mean that's been explained to the best of my ability but i hope it's, it's been explained at a level where you can understand it really then of course the community champions which is obviously the people that have been uh going above and beyond in their communities, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's pretty much the information that I wanted to share with you regarding weekend league rewards and squad builder challenges. Uh, in terms of last year's weekend league rewards, this is the Premier League team of the season. Um, where did I finish? I want I wanted to quickly have a look where I finished here. Um, we finished in... Okay, we finished in, in, in rank two in rivals, which is two ultimate packs. Um, I don't remember where I finished in champs. I finished in elite three. So yeah, I was elite player back then. Wow. How times change. Um, so I had three player picks. And I just wanted to have a look at my player picks from last year. I'm pretty sure I got Bernardo Silva and maybe Laporte. I can't remember though. Uh, so I thought we'd have a quick look. So our first player pick was uh, Laporte, which was, you know, a decent pull. Um, I feel like everyone was getting Laportes last year though. Um, then we got Fernandinho, 93 rated, pretty decent. And then we got, oh, Matt Doherty. Okay, so like... This was my Elite 3 pool, um, and then obviously people in, from Gold 2 would probably get everything that, that but not Fernandinho. Uh, so I think from Community Team of the Season, if we were to look at the team, if I was to predict the most packed ones, I honestly think we'd be getting Courtois and Godins uh, the most. But I'm hoping we see a bunch of Simons pop up or a bunch of Mukiel's or, or, you know, Fernandinho's. Maybe Tiago's things like that. I'm hoping that we get some good rewards, and I hope EA make the um, the pack look pretty decent. Uh, I thought we'd have a quick look through uh, some of the packs. I remember packing that Laporte card, untradeable as well. Um, I had a tradable one in the club. Oh no, was this that was my guaranteed? Hang on, this is my guaranteed elite pack. Uh, never mind. Uh, I thought I packed that that Laporte. Um, yeah, I remember uh, getting this Laporte. Um, he was only a few hundred k at the time, which I think I, I wasn't very grateful about it, but. I remember getting this card that I was very grateful about because it's 400k. So I think that given given the circumstances, we should be having some really nice elite rewards. Hopefully some really good player picks. Um, but if that clears it up, if you can and you're an able player, get to gold two. You really want to get to gold two. It guarantees you um, the player picks. Uh, and if obviously you can't, try and get to gold three at least. Get yourself two player picks. 
get yourself some good players. In terms of the Premier League tots from last year, we got 86 rating minimum. So I'm guessing for PL tots, maybe 87 this year. It seems like it's pretty easy to make coins this year. So EA are kind of ramping most things up a little bit. I can see them doing the exact same thing here. Um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, but that's it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. If you're excited for a guaranteed tots pack, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.